Unfortunately, I don't do Sensible very well, and I had to rename it a somewhat fuzzy recollection of a collection. Light gleaming from a skyscraper, orange, green, brown and blue illuminations, delighting the eye, powerful tactile wooden structures, contrasting with a blue sail draped against a wall, fluidly bleeding onto the floor, and the wine. The perfect smoothness of the bronze ladies, following each other in their walk through ages, Is that me, the poor old soul at the back, drooping boobs in a stick in hand? These sculptures are surely waiting for my lottery win, so that I can take them home and gaze at their beauty forever. More wine. Sketches of familiar parts of our town, contrasting with vivid paintings. St Francis of Assisi looks benignly across the gallery, and startling blue flowers and a colourful portrait, somehow giving a feeling of warmer foreign lands. And the wine flowed. In between paintings, photographs, vivid streaks of light in a black sky, a familiar scene of Yarmouth seafront with an alien look, covered in a blanket of snow, a terracotta woman reclining, a wooden, wine-soaked woman reclining, The Big Blue Sea, a work by children, somehow portraying the fun they must have had in its creation. The bright tiny beads made into delicate jewellery, tempting buyers with their prettiness. Friends, old and new exhibitors, visitors, chatting and exchanging views. Have a glass of wine, cheers, good health to you. Sarge and his hideous creatures, those witches get everywhere even into the august confines of our town library. Rupert, with his rainbow collection of detritus, entertained us and left us laughing and full of admiration of his wit and talent. The wine table. Red and white, freely flowing. I shall not name the woman availing herself of this temptation or mention the appalling headache that she suffered as a consequence but you can bet that she was one of those unruly kitty witches. Shame on her. An entertaining, exceptional, excellent evening exhibition, depicting our local talent. Well done, Ark. A portrait of a young woman. Wow, what beauty. Such colour, such vibrant hues. Warm skin tones give way to cool greens and blues. Liquid blue eyes with hypnotic stare. I wonder what she's thinking if her thoughts were laid bare. I can see the sensuous way she curls her lip. As she smiles, her admirers are in her grip. Captured by her charms, they are under her spell. As they gaze at the brush strokes they know so well. Look at her hands clasped to one side of her face giving her charm and a certain kind of grace. Her look has a hint of longing in an almost coy way, so they are drawn to her magic and want to stay. I'm sure she understands exactly how they feel, and her beauty reaches out, even though she's not real. The Three Ages Three bronze statues, three ages of women... Youth strides forward, optimistically challenging life. Ha! Nothing in your way. Confidence abounds. Let me rush forward with wind in my hair. Nothing to compare. Cos I'm youth, I'm youth. Three ages of woman. Motherhood. Hmm, you come slightly round, housebound. Child nestling at my breast. No time to even take a rest. Creative force. The children. Round bottom, round belly, round breasts, containment, the vessel of motherhood. So many changes, the world takes on a new sense. 
motherhood, hood of mother, discovering a love never experienced before, protective, reflective, ha, yourself neglected, a realm where sometimes you feel alone, youth strides forward but motherhood takes a step back, feeling busy yet sometimes alone, the youth now dominates motherhood as the baby dominates mum. Three ages of woman, youth, motherhood and old age, maiden, mother and crone. The crone stands alone in youth and old age, a stick steadies her frame, wisdom in her youthful eyes, bent over with all she knows, all she's carried, all the life experiences, ha, I now walk slow. The cycle of three ages sculpted in bronze. This is called Moonlight. The painting is called Irony by Manuel Mendoza. Moonlight shines upon Moonlight the rocks, shines upon rising the from, the ocean's rising bed. from the ocean's bed. Lovers surface, from the, surface depth, from the depth to embrace their words embrace unsaid. Their words unsaid. Golden, Golden reflection, his head held dear. Vivacious bodies entwined to one. Untold story disappear with the setting of the sun. Maltese Dreamer. Maltese Dreamer. Maltese Dreamer, sleeping lady, lying on her side. Maltese Dreamer, daylight schemer. Ha, I am the Maltese Dreamer. Cause I am, I was born there. Sleeping goddess from the sleeping temples. Curvy hips like rolling hills or a mountain side. Beautiful landscape. Maltese Dreamer, life schemer. Dream oracle, knower of secrets or just a lady simply sleeping, guardian of the hidden realms. Subconscious mind, she'll take you on a journey if you dare. Travel your unfulfilled wishes, ideas and dreams. A lady resting, catnapping as the world goes by. A prophet, a teacher of the inner chambers and passageways of your mind, like the ancient temples where she is found. Otherworldly gateway, Dreamtime Lady, Maltese Dreamer. This is a poem about a piece of textiles and it's been dyed by the old plant called wood and the ancient Britons used to paint their bodies with this colour blue and I've called the piece Seaborn. Yielded from the ocean floor, aquatic plant billowing like a wave unfolding onto the golden sandy shore. Transparent veins reek the leafy sail colour of nature's ancient blue. Reflected from the skies above, a stormy cloudscape is in view. As the stem flows from the sea, anchored, moored, will it drift eternally? 